Hello, let's look at some examples of reconstitution. So example one, a cephalexin bottle contains 400 milligrams per 5 ml. When reconstituted with 97 milliliters for a final volume of 100 ml. If 100 ml was accidentally added, how much cephalexin would be in 7 ml? So let's move on to step one. You want to do proportions to find the total amount there would be when 97 ml is added for a total of 100 ml. So when that is done, you'd get a concentration of 400 milligrams for 5 ml, and that you'd have a total of 8,000 milligrams. Next, you want to find the powder volume. 100 milliliters minus 97 ml would get you 3 ml of powder volume. Next, you want to calculate the total volume of the new reconstitution. So 100 ml was accidentally added and you got 3 ml of powder volume. The powder volume doesn't change. The powder volume is exactly the volume that would the powder would fill in the bottle. So it doesn't matter how much diluent you added. So it would be 100 ml plus 3 ml of powder volume and you'd get a total of 103 milliliters. Next you want to calculate the concentration of 7 milliliters. So you have 8,000 milligrams total, you want to divide that by 103 milliliters and you'd get a concentration of 77.67 milligrams per ml and you want to multiply that by 7 ml because the question asked you that and you'd get 543.7 milligrams. It's important to note that you can also do 8,000 milligrams over 103 ml equals X over 7 ml. So that proportion should also get you 543.7 milligrams. Let's move on to example 2. A pediatric antibiotic is to be administered to a 60-pound child in three divided doses of 60 milligrams per kilogram a day. If the pharmacy has one gram vials in stock and the label instructions indicate to add 2.5 ml diluent to obtain a fin final volume of 3 ml, how many milliliters of the reconstituted antibiotic does the child need per dose? So step one, I would convert the patient's weight in pounds to kilograms and you get 60 pounds times 1 kilogram over 2.2 pounds and that would, should get you 27.3 kilograms. Next I would calculate the daily dose. So you have the patient's weight in kilograms 27.3 times the directions which is 60 milligrams per kilogram per day. So you'd get 636.36 milligrams per day. Next you want to divide the daily dose in three divided doses. So you take 1,636.36 milligrams divided by three doses and you get 545.5 milligrams per dose. Next, you want to do proportions to find the volume needed to provide the recommended dose. And you have 1,000 milligrams per 3 ml. And you want to find out how many ml would contain 545.45 milligrams. And you'd get 1.6 36 milliliters. Thank you.